Let's face it. If you want to be a man of integrity, respect, prosperity, indefatigability, you need to go through pressure in life. However, if you don't want to be a man that women and other men can respect, then maybe this video isn't for you. But for those who wish to continue, listen up. Pressure creates diamonds, but it is just not about going through the pressure, but learning how to be fearless under that pressure. Fear is often something that holds us back from our true potential. And that's why in this video I have laid out five steps that will teach you to be fearless under pressure in the face of life. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. In life, we all face moments of pressure and adversity, but what sets the fearless apart is their ability to rise to the occasion with courage and resilience. Keyword resilience, as it is essential to cultivate resilience to be able to embrace obstacles as opportunities for growth and stoicism shows us just how to do that. It is important to adopt a stoic mindset of amor fati, or love of fate, which teaches us to accept and even embrace adversity as a necessary part of life's journey. View challenges as opportunities to strengthen your character and fortitude. Resilience is the cornerstone of fearlessness under pressure. It isn't about avoiding pressure or adversity. It's about thriving in spite of it. Now resilience isn't all gained in one day, but I can give you a good start to your journey. It all starts with a shift in your perspective. Start by shifting your perspective on pressure and adversity. Instead of viewing challenges as threats, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace the mindset that every setback is a stepping stone to success. It's about laying a solid foundation of knowledge, skills, and readiness so that when the moment of pressure arrives, you're ready to face it head on. I will give you a step-by-step -step method on how to plan and prepare. Step one, start by clearly defining your goal or objective. What is it that you're trying to achieve? Having a clear sense of purpose will guide your preparation and keep you focused under pressure. Step two, gather as much information as possible about the challenge or situation you'll be facing. The more informed you are, the more confident and prepared you'll feel. Step three, develop a game plan. Break down the process into smaller manageable tasks and assign deadlines or milestones for each. Having a clear roadmap will keep you focused and on track during pressure-filled moments. Final step. Practice your skills and techniques repeatedly until they become second nature. Focus on what you can control. Instead of dwelling on external factors or outcomes, concentrate on your own actions, mindset, and preparation. By focusing on what you can control, you empower yourself to take effective action. Identify the controllable factors. Start by identifying the factors within the situation that are within your control. These may include your thoughts, emotions, actions, and responses as well as your preparation, mindset, and attitude. Also be keen to accept what you can't control. Practice, etc. 
acceptance of the things you can't control. Acknowledge that there will always be factors outside of your influence, such as other people's actions, external circumstances, or random events. Let go of the need to control these factors and focus instead on managing your own response. And once you've accepted what you can't control, be sure to take purposeful action towards your goals, focusing on the steps that are within your control. Break down larger tasks into smaller, manageable actions and prioritize them based on their impact and urgency. Taking risks is an essential part of growth and success, but it's not about blindly plunging into the unknown. It's about carefully weighing the potential rewards and consequences and making informed decisions. However, three things must be taken into consideration. One, assess the potential rewards of taking a risk. What do you stand to gain if your risk pays off? Consider both the short-term and long-term benefits, such as personal growth, financial gain, or fulfillment of your goals. Two, Evaluate the potential consequences. What are the potential downsides or risks involved? Consider factors such as financial loss, failure, rejection, or damage to your reputation. Be honest with yourself about the potential risks and whether you're willing to accept them. Final thing, gather information and insights to inform your decision-making process conduct research, seek advice if you can from trusted mentors or experts, and learn from others who have faced similar situations. The more informed you are, the better equipped you'll be to make sound decisions. Learn from setbacks. View setbacks and failures as valuable learning experiences rather than defeats. Take time to reflect on what went wrong, what you learned, and how you can improve for next time. Every setback is an opportunity to refine your approach and come back stronger. Setbacks are an inevitable part of life, but it's how we respond to them that shapes our future success. There are two things to consider accomplishing this. One, extract lessons and insights from the setback. What can you learn from this experience? What valuable insights or perspectives have you gained? Every setback contains hidden lessons that can help you grow stronger and wiser. And two, focus on finding solutions rather than assigning blame. Resist the urge to dwell on who or what went wrong, and instead channel your energy into identifying constructive solutions and strategies for moving forward.